Hi, it's David from Life with Parkinson's, and we're here today with Esther from Shaking In My Boots. She has her own YouTube channel, Instagram, TikTok, and I just want to say thank you so very, very much for agreeing to come on here and test the villain ball, and we're hoping that you have some really good results, but just tell us a bit about yourself and your journey with Parkinson's. Yeah, thank you so much for having me, David. Like you said, my name is Esther. I live in West Texas. I was diagnosed officially with young onset Parkinson's disease last year when I was 48. Uh, like pretty much everybody, my symptoms started earlier than that. <laughs> yeah. um, but I didn't know that because I didn't know what the symptoms were. I developed a tremor in my right hand in 2021, like during the pandemic. I was a hospital administrator and it was a lot of stress in my life. <laughs> I'm a big believer that stress is the big enemy of Parkinson's disease. And so it started as kind of like a little, like a, there was a, like a vessel in my hand that would oh. just kind of bulge. <laughs> I thought I had maybe like high blood pressure or something because it didn't start like, like a tapping. It started oh. just in the vessel on my hand and I would see it kind of throb. Yeah. I would look down at it and I'd be like, is it going to shake? It was such a weird feeling. And then one day it just moved. And so my tremor is an interesting thing because they, 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 they like to really define the Parkinson's tremors. Like it's a resting tremor. It's mm -hmm. this and that. And my tremor has always been kind of all over the place. I started my YouTube channel uh, after my TikTok and uh, after I went to Instagram and created Shaking in My Boots. So on um, TikTok, I was just myself because I never had any intention of like getting Parkinson's, let alone posting <laughs> videos about it. Who and I'm such, a, I'm such a dummy because it was like my whole name, but because my name is so long, Esther Labib Kirash, it 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 often is too many characters to be a username. Yeah. <laughs> so, so my TikTok handle was like Esther Labib Kia Rat. Because <laughs> it just cut off the last letters. And I didn't think about like privacy and stuff like that back then because I didn't think anybody would watch my stuff. I had like yeah. three followers and two of them were my friends, you know. Hey everyone. We will have a few things down in the description below. The first will be links to all of Esther's social media pages, so you can follow her wherever you choose. The second will be a link to the Villa Med shop, and then a code that will save you 50 euros off your purchase of a Villa ball if you use it. And indirectly, you will support Life with Parkinson's, and we really appreciate that. Thank you. I created Shaking in My Boots as an Instagram handle, thinking I'd be smart now and like be more private. Then I went and created an account on Facebook, and then I did my my YouTube mostly as a vehicle to um, link video longer videos to tweets that I was that I was trying to do at the time. So pretty much all my TikTok content I moved over to YouTube, and then I made a um, a couple of things just for YouTube. Now I'm just on so many platforms; it's like it's really hard to to maintain it. And I'll tell you a funny thing yeah. about YouTube. I did not know that there were comments in YouTube <laughs> for like six months. And then I, I like stumbled into notifications and I had like all these unread comments <laughs> because I didn't even know like where to access them in YouTube. That's how like YouTube stupid I was. Yeah. My tremor, it, it, it's, it was the thing that when it happened to me, there was kind of some relief in it because at least I knew I wasn't crazy. Yeah. Like I knew something was going wrong, but I didn't have anything I could like show somebody and say, this is what's going on. It was all yeah. still like, I feel like this, I feel like that, you know? And so when I got the, when I finally had something, you know, visible, then I went to my primary care physician and headed down the road to, to a diagnosis, which as is the case for so many of us, um, it is kind of arduous. <laughs> yeah. So how how are your symptoms now? Like how are your tremors affecting your daily life? So when I wake up in the morning is when I'm the um, you know, I, I'm tremory. Um it's not 
I feel like because I've been on some form of levodopa pretty consistently now for mm-hmm. a while, it's not as bad as I as it used to be when I wake up. I think there's probably still some residual, you know, things in, in I have that that ability still to to you know store some dopamine. I but I do have a little bit of a tremor when I wake up in my foot, which I didn't have before. I notice it mostly, and this has always been the case for me, is uh, when I text. You know. Oh yeah. Like every morning when I reach for my phone and I try and put in my password or something, because when I wake up, I'm so ugly, my face ID doesn't recognize me. <laughs> right, of course. Me too. So I, so I have to like type in my password and it I'll lock myself out of my phone <laughs> <laughs> like all the time doing that because you know something about just certain movements are harder mm-hmm. in my tremor so like if I like right now I'm medicated and um I don't have in my day-to-day anymore like a resting tremor oh, yeah. but when I when I was when I was working and I needed to do stuff on the computer, control a mouse, mm-hmm. it was a challenge. And so when I started on, you know, Carbidopa, Levodopa, 25100, like everybody else says, before that I started on Resagiline. Resagiline didn't control my tremor at all. So mm-hmm. I was like, well, this is a waste of time. So yeah. I asked, I asked, uh, cause I was so obsessed with the tremor. Like I have to get rid of my tremor yeah. and uh, so I can work. So I got on Carbidopa, leave it open, and it, and it helped my uh, my hand tremor immensely. Like my hand tremor completely went away, mm-hmm. and I was like super happy for about four months. And then I started uh, having even sooner than that. I started having a problem in my leg, which I thought at the time was just kind of an extension of my tremor, but mm-hmm. I now know was the beginning of dyskinesia. So right. uh, I got dyskinesia and wearing off dystonia almost right away on cinema oh and um, ah. yeah and so i uh but it took me a while to figure that out because i didn't know what the hell those words meant yeah of course. <laughs> it's not like somebody's like here's your parkinson's dictionary <laughs> we're gonna make it easy for you <laughs> take it take it home and study it you know so when i realized that and I went back to my MDS and stuff they put me on some different medication and then some different medication I realized then, based on the side effects that some of the medication caused, that like for me, it wasn't going to be as cut and dry. Like I know people that you know, I they take three pills a day for six years and they never get dyskinesia and they they're, yeah. they're good to go. And it just became really apparent for whatever reason that that I wasn't that person. But by so, but then I realized that my tremor. Although it it interfered in aspects of my life, there were worse symptoms and side effects than the tremor, yeah. because like I was, I'll never forget, I was brushing my teeth one time. Me and my husband were out of town, so I didn't have my electric toothbrush, and that that uh that motion of like brushing my teeth was so hard, and I just started crying because I'm like I it's so hard to brush my mm. teeth. And and he's like, well, you have another hand, just, <laughs> no, yeah. just, just use the other hand, you know? So I think the tremor in a lot of ways is when you have the hand tremor, it's like the most adaptable of the symptoms. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the problem is if I, if I have it uncontrolled for a period of time, it becomes painful, like in my wrist mm-hmm. and in my, in my shoulder, because I mean, you're, you're, hand is just not meant to move all day long you know no it's not it's a good point let's um let's let's get the ball out and okay well there there we go we'll start well there's the villain ball and i don't know if you had a chance to charge it up i did okay excellent yeah you just slip open that top cover and... it is yeah there's a, it comes with a charger mm-hmm. and it's really easy and relatively lightweight and compact I have kind of smaller hands, so um, but it's really easy to use. You just push the button, the, you mm-hmm. just push the top, and it lights up oh, green, so you know it's good to go. Mm-hmm. And I was watching your video. Um, your mother suggests holding it more in her fi- in your fingers. Yeah, more like an egg. Like an egg, and I'll be honest with you. Um, cause I am a, I'm a very skeptical person, 
But I used this last night before I went to bed. And I'm telling you, somebody had suggested this to me a long time ago. And I was like, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> but um, that's how I am about everything. And I am not one to get stuck in, in opinions. Like, I'll try mm -hmm. anything once, probably twice. There's mm -hmm. something very soothing about this, you know? Oh, yeah. it's, 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 and it, you're, you're, I, I was thinking for some reason I would be feeling it mostly in my hand, mm -hmm. but I, it's, it's like vibrating all the way through into my shoulder. And what it's doing is not a, a consistent vibration. It's actually, I don't know the specifics of the tech, but it's like speeding up and slowing down. It's definitely pulsatile in, in nature. I, I was like, like, my son was watching me and he's like, what is that? And I'm like, I, I really feel like this is a nonsense, you know, obviously I'm going to use it, you know, over time before I, I have a, a informed opinion, mm -hmm. but I know people that have said for a while that if you um, do things like shake your hand when you tremor, that mm -hmm. that helps. I've never tried that myself, but it's counterintuitive to me that shaking would help shaking. But if nothing else, it does feel very soothing. Okay. Well, yeah. And then it has a timer in it. And mm -hmm. after it does uh, its cycle, which is about 10 minutes, then it automatically shuts off. Yeah. And then you want to do the other hand. Then see, it's like. Fast and slow and fast and slow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess it's trying to learn learn you. Yeah, so I'm really interested to see what happens the next. I'm hoping we can check back in in 14 days and then again in 30 days and get your kind of your comments and your opinions at both stages. Yeah, definitely. And I appreciate you um, sending it to me because, well, for one thing, um, I, I just, you know, that's the problem. I feel like with Parkinson's and things, it's like you want somebody's first-hand experience, you know, yes. of somebody you trust. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, people like you and myself, we've done a lot to to be trustworthy in the community. And so I appreciate that a lot. I was so excited. Actually, I got a package before this, and I was like, it's my ball. <laughs> and then it was something else. And I was like, oh, I wanted it to be my ball. <laughs> and then it came. Well, yeah. And, and that, that point you made about trust, right? I have found the Parkinson's community in general to be, to be incredibly trustworthy and generous and kind. Like some of the companies I've worked with so far on just trying to get products out to people with Parkinson's, their heart and soul is to help people with yeah. the illness. And I don't know if you've encountered this, but I've found this to be true. In so many cases, the people that are doing the really amazing work, they have some personal connection with the disease, mm -hmm. whether it's themselves, a loved one, a mm -hmm. friend, and that heart makes all the difference in the world. So. It does. It really, really does. Yeah, so I, I appreciate you doing this and in turn helping other people. The more opinions, whether good or bad, on this product will help other people make an informed decision. Exactly. And we know we're all different. And so mm -hmm. even something that works for me that doesn't work for you, as long as it works for one other person, <laughs> yeah. you know, that that's all that matters. I mean, if we just touch the lives of one person, like that makes it it makes all the difference. So yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you, Esther. And we will talk to you again in 14 days. See you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>